This poem's pretty self-explanatory what I think it is, because I wrote it. Anyway, <laughs> it's called Thin Places. <clears throat> There's another dimension out there, one so beautiful that it couldn't bear not to share, so it pricked little holes in our sky and lit in them lanterns. It's a place so graceful that it can hold our tears, so it gave us music so our cries could reach them. It's a place so wonderful that its joy spills into this place so we can laugh until we can't see straight. It's a place so breathtaking that this place had to have a peace so we grew gardens and forests and plains and jungles and in hands to tend them and, eye and leaves and eyes to wander and marvel. It's a place so indescribable that we had to try, so I was blessed with tongue and pen and all your faces to inspire me. It's a place so perfect that it needs us to experience it, so it gave us hearts to break and souls to scream out for something better. It's a place so generous that it gave us voices to demand justice and determination to try for it. Now I can't see every star in the universe, I can't sing away every tear you cry, I can't always laugh through the pain. I can't walk to the corners of the planet. I can't write everything I feel. I can't quiet my soul. I can't stop every crime. But I can tell you that you're not imagining it. There are places where something so loving has held onto us so tight that it has worn holes in our existence. And there's a reason why loss for words fills me with hope, not despair. I see stars in your eyes and I know we're not of this world. Because if we were, you wouldn't cry on those cloudy nights. You wouldn't be silenced when you saw beauty. You wouldn't hear music. You wouldn't laugh just because. You wouldn't get tired of sitting still. You wouldn't pick, stop to pick flowers. You wouldn't scroll on these pages to express how you feel. You wouldn't care what he thought or try to impress him or remember his smile and desperately miss him. You wouldn't blink twice at rape or care about the bruises. You wouldn't congratulate the winners and feel bad for the losers. You wouldn't search for thin places to prove they're not there. You wouldn't question authority and battle despair. I'm pretty sure it's not for nothing, but even if it was, do you really think that we live and exist just because?